In this video, I'm going to be showing you this particular Binance future trading rules that you can actually implement and turn your initial $100 to $1,000 trading futures on the Binance exchange. And for the matter of fact, I'm going to be covering from which asset to trade and a particular strategy you need to stick to so you can initially turn your $100 to $1,000 trading the futures market on Binance. So as you all know, Binance future trading is all about making an agreement to buy or sell a particular asset at a future contract. And this future contract allows traders to speculate on the direction of the asset. Either they are going to take a long position or they are going to take a short position. And if their predictions are right, they are going to get rewarded when the future contract settles. So it is very recommended you know the right direction to speculate so that when the future contract settles, you are going to get rewarded. So I'm going to be walking you through step by step with a lot of these rules you need to keep at the back of your mind before you even open a particular trade. So you can initially turn your $100 to $1,000 trading the futures market on the Binance exchange. So make sure you stick around to the very end of the video so as to be able to implement these rules appropriately okay so without further ado let's dive straight into the rules real quick and do well to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already let's dive into the video real quick so here we go i'm going to be covering from which asset to trade and all the rules you need to implement so as to help you turn your initial $100 to $1,000 trading the futures market on the Binance exchange. So first thing first, we are going to make a choice of which asset to trade. So the choice of a particular cryptocurrency to trade with is absolutely dependent on you. But for me personally, I recommend you stick to either one or two cryptocurrencies to trade with so as to be able to monitor the behavior and the direction of them so that when your rules are made, you can quickly identify them. So the second rule here is the settlement margin as it is shown here, settlement margin. So the settlement margin here is that which particular cryptocurrency do you want to trade with? Because on the future trading, we have the USDM futures and we have the CoinM futures. So for the USDM futures, you can either use stablecoin to buy or sell Bitcoin with. Either you are going to be using the USDT or the BUSD. But when it goes to the coin and futures, you are going to be using cryptocurrency to buy or sell that particular cryptocurrency with. So in my experience, I recommend you to use BUSD to trade because if you should head over to this Binance website, you will get to realize that if you are using USDT to trade with on the USDM futures account, you are going to be paying 0.02% for maker and 0.04% for the taker. The maker is like making to the market that is using the limit order and the taker is like taking from the market using the market order. So if you are going to be using the BUSD instead of the USDT, you can see that you are going to be paying way little trading fee percentage compared to the USDT. So I will highly recommend you use the BUSD for like a stable coin to trade with on the Binance futures trading. And when you are using BUSD to trade, you have to search for that particular cryptocurrency that has BUSD 
in form of their quote currency. So that is it for the settlement margin. Let us head straight to the other stage real quick. The other stage is the leverage impact on your trade. So for the leverage impact on trade, we all know for sure that leverage is like borrowing money to trade. So let's say for an instance, you have $377 and you want to borrow 15 times of that 377 you can do that with the help of leverage. What I meant by the impact on leverage on trade is that leverage can also make you pay higher amounts of trading fee. So the leverage here determines how much you are going to be paying for trading fee. So for somebody that is using about 50x leverage, there are different kind of fee to be paid on each of those leverage. So if I am to pay that trading fee of 0.04% of the taker fee, either I'm going to be taking a long position or a short position, that 0.02% or 0.04% for the fee is going to be calculated with this 18.800 US dollar because I am on 50x. That is 377 times 50. That will give you this amount of your portfolio. That means I can open a position worth 18,800 USD. So the fee here is going to be calculated from this 18,800, but the deduction is going to be taking place on your real money like your collateral money so the total amount that your portfolio is worth any percentage you are going to be paying either you are going to be making to the market or taking from the market or you are going to be paying the funding fee or even when you incur losses that amount of percentage is going to be calculated with this total amount that your portfolio is worth and the deduction is taking place on your real collateral money. So if this funding fee is going to be paid now, the 0.01% is going to be deducted from that total amount that your portfolio is worth at that exact time of your trade. Even when you are going to be paying your fee, that's your maker fee or your taker fee. That calculation is taking place on the total amount that your portfolio is worth at that exact time. But the deduction is taking place on your real collateral. Even when you incur losses, let's say you went down by 5%. That 5% is going to be calculated from this 18500 but the deduction is taking place on your real collateral. Even when you are on profit, let's say you are up about 4%, 4% of this 18,000 is going to be added onto your portfolio as well, like your collateral money, okay? So that's as simple as understanding how leverage impacts on your trade. So you get to know that the higher your leverage, the higher the chances that you are going to be paying higher amount of fees at some certain point. So you should always keep that at the back of your mind. So that is all for leverage. Let us head over to this other stage, which is the maker and taker impact on trade. Before I show you these particular rules, you need to keep in mind so as to help you make a lot of money on the future trading. The maker and taker impact on the trade simply implies that if you are using the market order, you are going to be paying way too much trading fee compared to when you are using the limit order. So initially it is 0.02 and 0.04. So you should be able to be paying 0.02 so as to be able to optimize a lot of profit as well. So you wouldn't be paying way too much trading fee compared to if at all you had used the limit order instead. 
So that is all for the maker and taker impact on trade. Make sure that you always use your limits order appropriately. That is if you are entering, you set your limits order manually of what you intend to buy or sell at. And if you are going to also stop losses, you put the exact figures at which you want to stop losses at and the order is going to remain pending. And if at all you also want to take out profit, you set a particular target. Because if you randomly close out of a particular position without any order being triggered, you are using the market order and you are going to be paying way too much um, trading fee compared to if at all you set it manually. So the maker and taker also impacts on trade dramatically. So get that at the back of your mind. So let us head straight to the main deal of the day, which is the trading rules and confirmation. Because in the real understanding, there are two predominant methods you can use to make money on the future trading. That is technical analysis and the fundamental analysis. The technical analysis is like understanding the charts, the technical aspects of the market. So you can appropriately identify the right zone to get in and get off the market. But the fundamental is like the available news in the crypto space. That is if there is any news about any particular cryptocurrency or any financial instrument is going to reflect on the price of cryptocurrency so fundamental plays an important role for me because fundamental has the big picture of what is going to happen to the technical analysis but don't get me wrong technical analysis can be very profitable if you know how to manage your risks properly but in my experience fundamental have the big picture of what is going to happen to the technical analysis so I love looking at the big picture before I can even come on to the technical analysis for maybe proper confirmation. So I'm going to be showing you how to effectively use the fundamental so you can initially turn your $100 to $1,000 simply by trading the fundamental appropriately. So for the fundamental rules, you need to keep at the back of your mind before you even go ahead to buy or sell any particular cryptocurrency that is what i'm going to be showing you right now so the fundamental goes like this you all remember there was a time that ftx went bankrupt if at all you sold cryptocurrency like you went on sell and sell bitcoin usdt at that point of um ftx going bankrupt you would have seen a huge increase in your portfolio like your portfolio would have been smiling to the bank because those are the kind of fundamental you need to keep at the back of your mind so the same thing is applicable to what i'm going to be showing you right now the fundamental i'm going to be showing you right now has to do with binance because binance is one of the prominent exchange out there so in this video i'm going to be giving you the list of binance fundamental you need to keep at the back of your mind so you would get to know where you are going to buy and sell appropriately like respectively so first thing first i normally stick to coins that are going to be listed on binance because when the coin is about to be listed like when it even comes to the binance launch pad that cryptocurrency tend to make a major moves let me give you an example with this coin this coin was trading on majority of the exchanges out there but when binance eventually announced the coin like immediately binance took the coin to their launch pad the coin went as high as 5.29 this 5 0.29 happens as a result of binance taking the coin into their launch pad Immediately the coin comes onto the launch pad, the consolidating back down is always predominant. So our aim now is to take an advantage of the consolidating back down because that is what is going to be happening majority of the time when Binance eventually announce any coin to the announcement like their launch pad. I have made an example with tons of them out there, but I'm going to quickly wrap everything up in this video 
so i can show you the strategy real quick so initially this coin was also trading on majority of the exchanges out there probably like um get the higher cool coin or buy bit but when binance eventually took the coin into their launch pad and probably announced the possible listing like when they are going to list the coin the coin already spiked up so if at all you sold that coin like you sell the coin on future trading the predominant consolidating back down is always available it's always predominant so our case now is for us to sell any coin when binance eventually just announced the listing like immediately binance says this coin will be listed you are going to prepare to sell the coin so going back to the world coin i told you all that this coin is going to definitely come back down as the strategy stated so the moment the coin got listed on binance the consolidating back down is always predominant i state that information and the strategy in my previous video so i will have to play the clip so you see it yourself okay before i can now wrap on to the last stage which is the risk management real quick so let me play the clip real quick there it will definitely come down to 38 40 cent mark before it eventually goes back up so our case now is for us to sell the coin because the moment Binance announced the listing, the coin might have started consolidating back down. So that is the old strategy there. I told you that the coin is going to consolidate back down. So at this point, your aim should be how will I identify the newly listed coin so i should be prepared to sell the coin at any point in time because basically the rightful zone you would have get into the coin would have been the moment binance announced the listing okay so the moment binance announced the listing you would have just sell the coin on the future trading and you can already see your portfolio smiling to the bank so the rules is that wait for binance to announce the coin on their announcement page and then you come on to the future trading and sell it majority of the time if binance announced a newly listed coin that you would have come on to the future trading and sell it but unfortunately the coin is not yet being listed on the future trading you can as well make use of other exchanges to sell the coin respectively because the moment binance announced the listing the consolidating back down of the coin at that exact point of Binance announcing the listing is always predominant. So for your risk and reward ratio, make sure that you always put your stop loss a little pips above your entry candle and then your take profit target should be at the lowest low or even halfway through here and then you go off the market. So that's like a free money. So for you to now get that view of when Binance is going to announce any coin on the announcement page, you head over to your home screen and click that your profile icon and scroll all the way down so you find help and support and click on help center. And then you are going to go for like you scroll down so you find the new cryptocurrency listing. Okay. The announcement page you click on the new cryptocurrency listing these ones are pretty much pre-existed coin so you shouldn't be looking out for all this right up what you should be looking out for is a bold and a clear written text that says so 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 coin is going to be listed okay like this one is written boldly that binance will list war coin so it's written boldly these are the kind of write up you need to watch out for so for this particular war coin i think it's pretty much very saturated already so you need to always come on to the announcement page and wait for new cryptocurrency to be announced so that when you see them listed on the spot that's the first place is going to be traded is on the spot then you can now wait when it comes on to future trading you sell it or you can even go over to other exchanges and sell it respectively 
when it got listed on Binance Spot Trading. As simple as that. If you have any question regarding this, leave it in the comment section. I'll get to reply all of this. Okay.